Hello everyone, this is Presentivity here and today I'm bringing you a Maple Story video. Today I'm on GMS Reboot and I'm going to try out uh, the new Evan revamp. Uh, Evan, as some of you, maybe all of you know, is the uh, Dragon Master and he is uh, bound by a contract made long ago, pretty much. He said, you can call him a descendant of uh, the old... Uh, uh, the old Dragon Master, I can't remember his name at the moment. He, he normally in ring ring events and stuff, so I'm sorry for every Evan lover and all of that. But I can't remember the old Evan. He had another name, but I can't remember it at the moment, but maybe i get to it later. But yeah, um, I'm so happy about this revamp. Uh, frankly, I wasn't looking forward to doing it that much, and I'm recording this audio post the video because when I I have been recording for about four or five hours and I decided now that I'm just gonna upload the the things I have recorded into three small pieces and I hope it will be a good video or videos actually for you to follow a little mini series of Evan and my journey to become the Dragon Master it, it, it's really intriguing though for me to play Evan because I played old Evan I made it for like a week and then I just felt like it wasn't the class for me and now I'm playing the new revamp Evan and it's really fun and but here's the thing I like playing it here on reboot but I am almost 100% sure I'm not gonna enjoy it when it comes to the official, no, not official uh, to EMS in later this summer probably but I'm not gonna main it so I decided I'm gonna stick with the bishop that, that's it everyone who has been saying go main Evan main Evan I don't know I want. I'm not gonna do it but yeah uh, back on topic uh, Evan prequest hasn't changed at all uh, you still do the dream fragment in the beginning as you've seen and then you just do the normal quest you feed the dog you help your brother you help your mother bring the food to your father and so on and it, it it's fun because I was really kind of scared of them to remove the old classic prequest I know probably a lot of you guys that watching this it's like, oh my god, they didn't change it. Oh, boring, come on. You could have upped it next time, come on. You could have done better. But I'm, I'm happy because it gives some nostalgia keeping to the class, even though everything else is pretty much revamped <laughs> of it. Uh, the looks of it is hilarious. I, I like the facial expression he does. Uh, the new hair looks okay. Uh, the, the general feeling of the new revamped Evan is, is great. I actually like it and so on so i'm gonna keep uh, i'm gonna main this on uh, reboot gms reboot for now and uh, we'll see what happens in the future uh, regarding the whole ems gms thing that that is what i'm going to discuss uh, yeah i can nah, i was thinking of discussing it in the later video but yeah whatever uh, let's discuss it now already um the ems gms ramp the, the first feelings I got two weeks, three weeks, a month ago when it first was announced that we were going to migrate to uh, GMS, it was like, oh my god, uh, we can finally play on GMS, oh my god, we're going to lose something, oh my god, like, my, my feelings were upside down, I didn't know what to feel, I was sad, I was happy, I, w I was crying inside, I, I didn't know where I was going to go, and as you might hear me while talk this, I'm really, really emotionally attached to the, this whole thing and I'm really happy about it. Uh, at the moment I'm like, let's see what happens and uh, just relaxing and enjoy the game like always. Uh, the reason I can play GMS is because I have a pre IP band account at the moment, so everyone who's saying, oh my god, you're using a VPN or whatever, I'm not, I'm using a pre blocked uh, account, so you don't have to uh, accuse me of something that I'm not. But yeah, uh, this is so much fun. I have, like, since I started playing on Reboot, I fell in love with it. I, I love Reboot. Like, I didn't think I was going to love it as much, like, the miso grind and stuff that, that's like a pain in the butt but I, I really enjoy it it's like the whole atmosphere of reboot is 
Oh my god, it's so relaxing of some sort. I don't know what it is, but it's just relaxing for me, at least. I don't know how other people feel. But yeah, uh, back, back on the whole GMS, GMS migration merge thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, it, it, it's absolutely amazing, though, that Nexon Europe and Nexon America is joining hands in this, even though Nexon America is taking over uh, all the things like uh, they they're taking it. we of the EMS people need to agree with your terms and of course I've already done it uh, just waiting for the last migration and stuff so it's gonna be a great I finally we'll be able to play with some of the GMS people I know through Twitter and it's gonna be amazing because it, it feels like I'm getting closer to everyone that, that I have on Twitter that play in GMS because I really want to know them even though I haven't really spoke to them through, other than through Twitter, and that, that's kind of sad. Sure, I could play on their servers with this free blocked account, but in the same time, I'm of the, these weird people that this account doesn't feel like me. I, I know it sounds really ridiculously weird because it is my account, but I, I just doesn't feel like it's me. Like, I want my main account, my EMS account, to be able to log on GMS and that I can make characters on that account for for me to visit everyone and so on. So I'm just waiting for that. But uh, when the migration is finished, I think it's said to be done around 28th of September, uh, earlier or later. Somewhere around there, at least, they have the tentative tentative whatever you want to call it date but uh, I do hope that we're gonna see some amazing changes and and that we're gonna be uh, be able to play together on like my GMS friends can come to EMS like only make a shout that doesn't really need to play just come visit me and say hello or whatever and I can do the same but depending on how the migration go and how how stable everything will end up after the whole issue is. It's going to be interesting to see how a lot of our Maple Stories Europe players that have quitted because stuff happens. Like, no, we had no patch for six months, and uh, when we got it, like almost straight after we got the patch. We got the info that we information that we are gonna be migrating to GMS and was like, okay, why why didn't you give us a hint before? Like I think was because nothing was confirmed and the the reason I think we didn't have a patch for six months was pretty much because uh, GMS or Nexon America and Nexon Europe was discussing the whole migration problem or the player base or whatever because I think both have lost players over the years and now they, they need to step up the game and become, uh, as they say, a leading game provider in the West Western markets like Nexon is in the uh, East. So I, I think Nexon is one of the bigger over there, but I can't, I can't really say what I'm not sure. But yeah, um, it, it's been, it, it's like both, it's a conflicting feeling I am sharing with myself. Like, I'm really happy that we're going to be able to play with GMS players. And at the same time, we, we as EMS people have seen that in the frequently asked questions, uh, that they posted on both EMS and GMS forums that EMS only features will be removed and what that will be is really hard to say because we have a lot of stuff that might not be able to turn over to the GMS side but uh, some of the items probably all of you know them are like the old supreme medals um, Flames we have, GMS doesn't, but maybe Flames gets added to the GMS, who knows what Nexon is thinking. Um, more of the stuff we have, Verisent is a content, I really hope that they bring it to GMS as well, because we want to keep Verisent, at least I want to keep Verisent, because it's an amazing area, it's a good storyline, and like mystery all over. And I know that some of the more famous YouTubers 
also want to get the recent to GMS because it's more of a castle. I can't remember who said it. It was needed, but one of the more famous Maple Story YouTubers have said that uh, it's like Lionheart Castle, but not like it's more castle and mid age, middle age. So they kind of want it because it goes well with the theme and all. Uh, I'm like really ha I do am happy about it because. They have said that EMS and GMS is going to share the same content at the same day events, events, which means that we are going to get EMS servers are going to get the GMS content that they have that we don't have, and I hope it's the same. Like we only pretty much have versions <laughs> that GMS doesn't have. I think we only have versions, and maybe Neo Tokyo or something like that. I don't know really, but versions I know, and I hope that it goes over to GMS as well. But uh, uh, I really do hope and I really wish that Nexon keep the promise they have made now that the game are gonna step up, that we're gonna get updates faster than before, at least EMS, uh, which is kinda ridiculous because if GMS doesn't get an update in six months, they, they, then there's something wrong. Like EMS, we, we had no update in six months, but now they promised us that we're gonna get faster updates and I think it's just that all the versions are stepping up because the fifth job was announced and they want to bring it out and I know Maple C has pretty much promised that the fifth job is coming out on Maple C this year. I think the developers even said that, uh, which is really weird because if KMS get a uh, fifth job this summer, then we probably get it this winter and that that would be amazing like the Christmas patch is fixed job but, but only speculations no one has confirmed and no one knows anything about the summer updates I think it's this week that 150 players can go to the Korean Nexon meeting Maple Store meeting and like uh, meet the de developers and stuff and talk to them again I think like I called a high five I know that uh, orange mushroom following that vlog so a little bit but yeah um the back on the event track like i talked about the thing but uh, well i started with evan but let's finish off with evan uh and uh, this is going to be a mini series about evan for uh, five three three episodes of evan where i go through grinds i actually gonna go just show you the grind and footage i've made and i hope that you will enjoy the footage and discussions i'm bringing with the videos because I'm going to talk and bring discussions of news topics. But yeah, next video will be on Sunday, and I hope I will see you then. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye!